Not only did my Ford break down, I also somehow managed to delete accidentally all of the footage. So what happened? I am driving along. I see some white smoke coming out of under like from my truck, right? I can tell. I'm like, okay, hold on. I didn't hear anything pop. I don't see my front tires are okay and my back tires are okay. I haven't gotten any notifications like this could be really, really bad. And my temperatures are all fine as well. So I pull over on the side of the road and I stop and I snap this picture like like a minute after I stop and that it's leaking. So I quickly run back around to the truck, shut it off. And then I'm like, uh-oh, what do I do? So first thing I did is I started looking around for some tow trucks. And then what happened was an officer pulled up and actually said, hey, uh, you don't need to call any tow trucks or whatnot. There's actually a wrecker two miles down the road. Do you want their number? And so I said, sure. So I took their number, called their wrecker, and he's like, okay, cool. I'll be there in like 30 or 40 minutes. And while I'm waiting for the wrecker to show up, I decided to go live to ask the people on Instagram what they think. So if there was ever a chance to follow me or a reason to follow me on Instagram, <laughs> this would be it. Rarely do I have footage get deleted, but this time it did. And there was a couple of logs in between there as well that got deleted too. So I don't know what it was. I must have accidentally wiped an SD card because I have three GoPros. I have my iPhone. So it's like, that's kind of a lot to manage. So anyways, go follow me on Instagram. Um, it's just to keep up with up-to-date stuff and let's get into the live. Yo. Okay. So, uh, What's up, guys? Uh, so we're waiting for the wrecker to show up. There's the load. There's the trailer. We're waiting for the wrecker. But this thing was in service literally 3,000 miles ago, 36,000 miles or 2,000 miles ago, 36,000 miles. I got this thing serviced and I'm at 38,000 miles now. So this thing was just in service. And I'm telling you right now, it's probably the incompetent firestone employees because this thing looks like it's leaking okay uh, this thing looks like it's leaking right from the oil uh oil filter you know what i mean like right from the oh, here let me lay on the ground look you see how it's all wet this is all soaked in oil right and it's just it's so coincidental that you know right after service they you know if it, it blows up like, it's got to be. They messed something up, you know what I mean? So, uh, it sucks. It does. But at least it's not mine. <laughs> no, guys. Uh, so, uh, it's, guys, it's, I mean, I'm, I'm on the side of the road. I try to plug in my microphone. So, uh, please watch your ears if it's going to be loud. There's trucks driving by. We're waiting for the wrecker. I'm in Oklahoma. Um, so... Exactly, fair winds. Wait, what did fair winds say? Hold on, fair winds, what did you say? Filter wasn't installed properly, bro, no doubt, 110%. I pulled over, dude, I don't want to melt this thing, you know what I mean? Because if I keep going, it's going to melt the pistons and everything. Low oil bro, blows rods, right? So I pulled over immediately, bro, but no doubt, I'm sure oil gasket, dude, no doubt, it's probably the oil gasket oil filter. They did something wrong, dude, there's no doubt. And I called the wrecker. I hope, I hope Enterprise reimburses me for the wrecker. Um, I hope, uh, I really hope they can give me a truck, dude. This load is going to Virginia, and I'm in Oklahoma, and I'm trying to be out there, you know, as soon as possible. Didn't take old seals out. You think so? So, anyways, I shut her down right away, bro, because I saw a lot of oil was coming out. Officer pulled up a couple minutes ago. I took pictures of it and whatnot. And the officer, where in Oklahoma? I-40. I just, I was at the pilot. You see those lights back over there? The pilot was Sayre, S-A-Y-R-E, Oklahoma. Sayre, five-minute fix, new filter, new oil, done. You think so? Fair winds, you, you think so? But anyways, like I was saying, officer just pulled up. Nicest officer in Oklahoma ever. Um, he, it was a sheriff, that's why. He pulled up and he's like, hey, is there anything I can do to help you? Oh, man, that sentence right there. You know what I mean? That's how officers are supposed to talk. Hey, Casey, don't call me. I'm, I'm on the live. So check to see if the filter is loose. What if it's hot? And it, uh, 
Okay, hold on. Let me lay on the ground. Look what I do for you guys, okay? I'm going to lay on the ground. Here you go. Look, we're going to put this thing like this. Okay. Okay, there you go. So you can see. Now, let's see. Here's... Uh, okay, here's my hand. Uh, filters, filters tight. I can't. So, it's a, so that's tight. I mean, I can't. You know what I mean? If I could do it with my hand, that'd be a problem. Yeah, it's all oil. Anything else I should check? <laughs> the push rods went right through the block. I hope not, man. Like, yeah, it's like, yeah, I don't know. So, so that's not it, I guess. What else could it be, boys? Okay, where's the flashlight? Broken engine. Did you check the cap? The cap. Let me pop the, the hood. Okay, hold on. Okay. okay. Guys, I'm so sorry. Protect your ears. Don't turn the volume up. Okay, so, you know what's crazy is this whole thing is dry up here. There isn't an ounce of oil anywhere. If I start the vehicle, it will drip. It does drip. Uh, Texas Redneck, I'm on I-40, uh, Sayre, Oklahoma, S-A-Y-R-E, I just started, I just left the pilot a couple minutes ago. Oil filter wrench, I don't, I don't think I have one. Look, so it's all dry, where's the oil filter cap up here? Man, a Cummins is much easier to work on. Oil filter cap, boys, where is it? Start it and check where the oil co is coming from. Guys, if I start it, won't that just be bad? Did you check the drain bolt? That's a good question. Oil line to the turbo. You think so? Look, so it's all dry. Everything is dry up here. Where's, guys, can someone tell me where the oil filter is? I mean, the, the oil cap. Isn't that oil cap supposed to be up here somewhere? Oh, right here. No. Right? This. Don't start it. Do not start it. Right, dude. I know. Bro, with no oil, there's no way I'm going to melt the whole engine. So look, oil cap is right here, correct? That looks good. Check oil level. Okay, good idea. Uh, is there even a, uh, a dipstick? That's transmission, right? Where's the... Uh... uh... Dude, if line for the turbo. Wait, the dipstick is on the other side? Okay, hey guys. <laughs> I, hope, I hope you don't think I'm dumb. <laughs> like, dude, you know, Cummins, I, I know where the dipstick is on a Cummins. You know what I mean? That's, that's, that's simple. Check oil drain plug. Check oil pan bolt. Yellow is oil. Oil level will be low, obviously. Check drain bolt. Okay, where's the drain bolt, boys? I'm laying on the grass. There's like twigs in my butt and everything. <laughs> okay. Is that the thing right there? That bolt right there? Is that it? So I don't... Like, guys, the oil is wet all up here. You know what I mean? So... It's it's weird. Okay, is is that it right there? Right, that's the plug you're talking about. Yes, yes, yes. That's the bolt. Well, it's there. I mean, there's some oil running off of it, but that's okay. Hold on, you guys are saying this is the dipstick for the oil? Where's the transmission dipstick? Okay, I should wipe it. I'm using, I'm using my armpit to wipe the dipstick. Okay. Is it clean? 
get nice and clean. Oh, you want me to call in fair winds? Okay, hold on. Let's try. Okay. Okay, let's see. No, I'm still alive. 150 people. Right, oil level is low. Look how low that is. Look, just barely at the bottom. Uh, I'm on I-40 in Sayre, Oklahoma, eastbound on I-40. Yo, trucker's not switching over. Come on, guys. <laughs> hey, whatever happened to, uh, you know, it's, it's so funny. I called the wrecker. I'm like, hey, how, how long do you think it's going to take? He's like, oh, 15 minutes. <laughs> it's been like half an hour. <laughs> Okay there, Wrecker. Uh, anyways, so. Okay, so oil level is obviously low. It's an oil. I think I caught it soon enough. Shouldn't be any permanent harm. Cap is here. Bolt was there. You cough on time. Found on the uh, So I'm leaning towards a cooling line on the oil. Do, do, I, do I have a rag? Yes, I do. I have a rag. I can get it. Here, let's grab it. Yo, Casey, you want to jump on a call? Okay, rag. Uh, okay, nice. I got a nice, look at this, nice red one. Check under the front of the truck, sure. Somebody crashes into me though. Okay. 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 Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, wow. That's a lot of oil. Put the triangles out. No, dude, I can't put the triangles out because because the because the wrecker. Look how my hazards are. That's fine. That's cool. Lost the live video. Uh, oh, look who it is. Yeah, buddy. All right, boys. Okay, that's that's gonna be it for the live, boys. I appreciate everyone. All right, boys, they're done with the Ford. Uh, turns out all of you guys were wrong. Okay, you guys were saying double seal or no seal or turbo oil drain something. Uh, it was just a terrible oil filter with a terrible oil filter seal. <laughs> that's it. It was actually an STP oil filter. These guys are saying that they haven't seen an STP oil filter in like years. So go figure, Firestone makes, or Firestone uses cheap parts. Okay, now a couple final last things. First of all, I don't know if it was actually Firestone's fault for using that garbage STP filter because they might have been out of stock out of the OEM and, you know, maybe they just threw in whatever they had. So I don't know if that's necessarily their fault or if Enterprise actually tells them, hey, use the cheapest filter you have or something like that. So I'm not sure. I got it serviced at a Firestone in California, so um, I don't I don't know. All I do know is that it's now been, you know, a couple of weeks because I'm, I'm behind on my videos, but Enterprise did reimburse me for the tow truck or for the wrecker. And as a matter of fact, they actually reimbursed me for the extra oil change as well because then I did stop a couple thousand miles later and get it on all the oil switched out and the oil filter switched out again after the shop put in a new one. Now, there's one thing and one thing for sure that if I would have kept going and not noticed how the oil was dripping, I believe it was the oil onto the exhaust was causing the white smoke. If I would have kept going, one thing's for certain, that engine would have blown up. So I'm really glad I pulled over. I'm really glad I stopped. When I when I took out the dipstick, I think there was still a good amount of oil. So I don't think a whole bunch leaked out because they didn't even top in that much or top off that much oil either. So overall, I'm happy. I'm observant behind the wheel and I pulled over quickly and safely. And so I'm, I'm glad everything's okay. I really am because this could have been a whole lot worse.